Hello, my precious! Welcome to my channel. My name is Aphrodite and I'm an intuitive tarot reader and clairsentient. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe. And if you are my subscriber, welcome home, my dear! Guys, for the private bookings, I will leave all the information in the description box below, such as my mail address, my Instagram link. Guys, follow me on Instagram. I create modern art and I would love to receive your feedback as well. I will feel more connected to you guys. Um, all the pricings are in the description box below as well. I will state the way how to proceed with the bookings. Today our theme is who is thinking about you right now at this present moment and what do they want. So I will provide for you three piles and I will advise you to pause the video to meditate on piles and following your intuition, our higher self's voice, make the best choice for you. All right, so now let me provide for you piles right now. I am presenting you three choices. Pile 1, Clear Quartz. Pile 2, Amethyst. Pile 3, Rose Quartz. Make your choice and I will proceed. Let me start with Pile 1, Clear Quartz. Hello, my precious. If you chose Clear Quartz, this would be your reading. But before, I would like to express my gratitude to my subscribers. Guys, thank you for your support, for your feedback, for your comments. It helps me a lot to grow my channel. I appreciate it greatly. And I would like to welcome you people. Guys, press the red button below and we will be connected. So let me see who is thinking about you right now. Spirit, tell me, pile one. For the pile one, I need some information. So guys, you chose this deck, the vampire deck. I do feel that you are very powerful people. Sometimes you do not know how powerful you are. You are so adaptable. You are so tra so transformative, flexible. You have been changing yourself over and over. Strong Scorpio energy, I feel here, guys. You have those placements someplace in your birth chart. This is for sure. You might not know about that, actually. So I do feel that you changed your life many times drastically uh, in such a way that always created a new path for you, for your growth. You completed many cycles. You had many karmic cycles, many karmic partners in your life. I do feel that all your past partners were karmic sexually. <laughs> well, unfortunately, but it's it's important for you to know that you have a special mission you have the special power within you and you needed to complete those cycles for your growth for building up your inner strength because you have a mission and i will elaborate on that further um, a little later all right so i do feel that you changed a lot in your life piled one i do sense that you have been changing the places of living drastically like moved to different city to different country across the continent or so on i do feel that you changed your appearance somehow some of you Mm, maybe change the hair color and other portion of you guys uh, lost weight and some of you guys gained weight for those of you who gained weight recently spirit wants you to know guys do not be too harsh on yourself you are doing so guided by the higher self by your higher self it's the best way for you at this present moment at this state stage of your life to protect yourself it feels like it gives you power it gives you protection from some danger or from some toxic environment that you are in right now and you're doing your best how to keep inner balance how to heal your emotional state and i do feel um in the near future you will manage to address an issue and through that you will fix everything else all right so i do see that you guys 
are quite flexible. You are extremely adaptable people. You adapt to situations easily and you are changing constantly. And people who do not know you very closely, they are quite surprised by the other side of you when you change your direction 180 and you choose to leap into something completely new. Yes, you are not stagnant at all. I do feel you are always transforming and moving forward uh, to learn new lessons, to experience more in your life. As well, I do feel that you sometimes struggle with feeling happy, with feeling happiness. This is a very dark deck and I do feel you we're conditioned to believe that to be happy you need to work for it really hard to deserve it to feel this happiness like five minutes a day or you conditioned to believe that it's rude to feel happy good about yourself because people around you do not feel the same because people around you have some problems complications or some other issues and you kind of downsize yourself to be on the same uh, level with the people around you as well i do feel that you deem your light to make other people more comfortable um you're very strong individuals i do sense that you provide this strength to other people and you do it in a, such a soft manner that other people do not really understand what's happening they do not even notice that you are actually um working with energies behind the scenes it perceived that maybe you are a little too um how to say that not bright enough or so, something like that i do feel that some people do not underestimate you, underestimate your abilities uh, because you do not need to show it off. It's just you are very comfortable within yourself and you know everything about yourself. You do not need to to show off, I would say. You're quite humble people and the spirit wants you to know that you need to learn how to own your power, how to own your qualities and appreciate those qualities about yourself because it's a great gift i do feel that you give uh, your strength away to other people because you want and you can you're able and you're not greedy to make other people feel good feel more more confident or feel greater sometimes than they actually are you do it out of purity of your heart to make other person feel happy and sometimes you kind of forget to feel happy yourself so and sometimes this uh, leads to some complications because many people underestimate you many people do not know what you are capable of and so you're kind of um, becoming um a mass actor of your own show where you actually need to be the star the center i know that you are humble people and you are all about um, being a humanitarian and giving away freely everything that you have to to elevate other people around you but spirit wants you to know that you need to change a little bit um you need to make yourself you need to allow yourself to feel happy and you need to allow yourself not to feel obliged to condition yourself i would say all right so we do have um the emperor here well this is a very um, disturbed individual who is an emperor highly disturbed individual with unhealed feminine we have the moon on the background i do feel that emotional side of their being is frozen it's closed off i do feel they reject divine feminine rejecting their emotional side they are rejecting 
everything that has to do with the divine feminine this is someone who's wounded by the by the neglect of their mother or maybe this person didn't have mother or the mother was called emotionally distant manipulative and abusive so they chose to reject the feminine feminines uh, in general they chose to reject their emotional side because for them it was safer to live this way so they use their primitive brain the lizard brain it's all about surviving it's all about fighting or running they live constantly in a state of danger and to to survive to feel safe for them it's um to fight to fight or to strike first before someone will strike them to steal or to take away something from other people or situations before something would be taken taken from them it's how they just perceive the life they just cannot understand how to live any other way and i do feel it's not it has nothing to do with the brain damage or with um i don't know some neurological diversity i do feel uh, this is a very um this is environmental it's not a psychopath it's a sociopath it's uh, just how this person was conditioned in the very beginning of their life so um rejecting their mother re mother figure rejecting the feminine the feminines in general i do feel this person is not able to connect with feminines um, in general i do feel that this person is actually disgusted by everything that has to do with femininity body shape smell liquids mm, emotions of course for them for this person it's disgusting for this person it's um it's the weakness and i do feel in actuality this person prefers men for romantic partner you might not even know about that for some of you guys this person just um, conditioned to connect with females because i maybe because of the religion maybe because of the place of living but this person is forced to so so to say forced to connect with feminines and you have been one of those feminines and i do feel you have some similarities with uh, this person's mother maybe um, your appearance is quite similar so this person has a type definitely or maybe you reminded somehow uh, their mother and this person chose you to to um, to kind of have a revenge to kind of punish you for this emotional trauma that they have for this neglect that they experienced in their childhood they were actually punishing their mother by being with you the way they have been with you i do feel this is someone who is quite abusive um, emotionally maybe physically for some of you definitely highly manipulative sociopath or malignant narcissist so let me know in the comments below guys what happened between both of you but i do feel you guys knew that all along from the very beginning having such power that you have guys you thought you kind of saw the issue and you connected with this person on a soul level son we have here you saw the light in them you saw the soul that was wounded and you wanted to heal that wound you feeling all powerful you thought you will help them to heal you will help them to elevate themselves and the universe wants you to know that you are just an apprentice you should not take on 
cases that are so complicated, all right? And another message from the universe is that, guys, the world we have here. It was a karmic situation, it was um, given to you, so you will learn that you should not mix your natural call to heal someone with your love life because it's not it was not a love or romantic situation i do feel that you decided to kind of blindfold yourself with the sun look she's blinded here by the sun by the light you decided to switch off certain parts of yourself uh, and you left only your motherly side because you sense that this this soul in particular needs this unconditional motherly love and you have been giving that to this person no matter what no matter the horrors no matter the abuse no matter the horrible abuse that this person uh, implemented in that connection you pulled through no matter what because of this motherly side within you it's what that it's what that person needed at this point of their life to see that there is nothing wrong with them they do deserve love they do deserve um, care they do deserve nurture. They needed to see that it's not their fault that their biological mother or primar, primary caregiver could not give them um, this motherly love. It's because their mother is wounded soul as well so feels like the universe wants you to know that you should not mix your natural drive to heal to help to nurture other people with your love life even more the spirit wants you to know as soon as you have this pull to heal man <laughs> or if you pick a romantic partner based on some desire to help out or to heal this person it's it's supposed to be a red flag for you it's supposed to be the sign that you need to pull back to evaluate the situation and most likely just to leave it be and walk away because i do feel you tend to mix your professional life with your love life it's like I do feel most of you are in a health field or somehow you help other people. You have this drive to heal, you have, you have this drive to help other people, but uh, it, it could be that you are helping out your family members or you're very helpful in your community, you are volunteering to help other people or somehow you provide this help to others so spirit wants you to know do not mix love with with your natural calling with your life path i would say with your life purpose uh, so this person is thinking about you i do feel that you are glowing up you manage to balance yourself we have six of pentacles here you gain emotional balance with this temperance within yourself you somehow managed to build up a strong backbone and around that center you are rebuilding your life slowly step by step but you becoming stronger and stronger with every day with everything that you do this person sees it you're shining brightly i do feel with the sun you're confident you found your life purpose and for them it's kind of an offense 
that you manage to pull away from them and actually become successful for them it's a threat for them it's losing control over the destiny of their victims they do perceive you as a victim they still do not understand that you have seen their true side from the very beginning but you were trying to help them out uh, to pull them you were trying to pull them out of the low vibrational space so they still do not understand that that you have been smart all along and having you thriving it's it's an offense it's like a personal insult for them and they want to be back to ruin your success to ruin your peace to ruin your happiness we have five of pentacles here i do feel that they have some financial uh, difficulties right now and they want to drag you down to their state of um, of um, being left out in the cold of struggle of constant struggle this is someone who cannot feel their own cup this is someone who has a hole inside and they need to take something from other people constantly to to feel this um, hole somehow temporarily and i do sense that it's not possible because it's like a black hole within their soul it's it's it cannot be um, filled this is why it's never enough this is why this person is always miserable is this is why they are always struggle they live in a state of constant danger so it's their work to plug from the within this hole through the healing through the self exception through the releasing this pain this resentment towards the feminines but it's not your job all right so this person thinks about you right now you're glowing up i do sense that you are achieving something you set your eyes on a price and you are going towards it we have the fool this is a new direction in your life again <laughs> another new beginning you had many beginnings guys you, you amaze me you have such a strong presence thank you for stopping by by pile one something really beautiful is about to happen in your life we have the sun it's a big promise it's a gift from the universe for your hard work all right this is a new direction that you uh taken it's a leap forward you are leaping and because of this the universe is opening new door for you that promise big big success all right so this person is thinking about you and they want to be back to disturb your peace to disturb your um your balance to disturb your life to to pull you down into their miserable state and i do feel that the only thing that you can do about the situation is mm, complete silence ignore block do not let this energy back i do feel that some of you are still in this divine mother state and you might feel that you want to 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 give it another chance another goal another try but my advice for you do not do that my advice for you is to become distant switch off your emotions switch on all your other parts of being right now you need to concentrate on your growth on yourself 
this is where your happiness lies. I do feel that something really great will happen in your life in the near future and you need to prepare yourself emotionally, you need to prepare yourself, even physically, it's this big change. This is a new cycle, completely new cycle. I do feel that you have almost completed all your karmic contracts for this lifetime and now the universe wants to give you another cycle, another soul journey, but that journey would be the happy one with your soulmate. You meant to be in a union with um, strong divine masculine as you are strong divine feminine you must be in a union with a strong divine masculine together as two strong individuals you will be you will be you would be destined to to create a beautiful life long lasting happy union guys this is the message that i got right now let me know in the comments below uh, if it resonates let me know what happened between you and this person all right because i do sense your presence your strong presence you're so majestic i, I would love to know your story guys all right so this is all that I have. Please consider to like, share, subscribe and push the bell button so we will be connected until the next time. Bye, guys! Hello, my precious! If you chose Amethyst, this would be your reading. But before I will start, I would like to express my gratitude to my subscribers. Thank you guys for your support, for your feedbacks, for your comments. It helps me a lot to grow my channel as well. If you are new, guys, press the red button and we will be connected all right so let me start this is your deck shadow skates i think i do not remember exactly so who is thinking about you who is thinking about my pile too i do feel that you guys are sensitive souls tender souls very artsy people i do feel that you have lots of creativity in your life or at least you surround yourself with with art you your soul is drawn to express itself artistically feels like you could be musicians poets writers prolific creators of uh, instagram content could be anything really so all right two wands is your energy i do feel that someone who made a decision about you and about this connection is thinking about you and i do feel that the decision was to pull back to move away to stagnate this relationship look we have eight of swords and to clarify eight of swords we have the moon I do feel this is someone who is stuck right now in mental prison. Swords. It's um. It's a suit of uh, thoughts of intellect, and I do feel that this person is stuck in this mental prison, succumbed by fear of moving forward we have the moon as clarifier it's all about secrets it's all about being uh, guided by suppressed fears unconscious fears and this is why we have this prison here i do feel this person is not really understanding why they cannot move forward why they are stuck why they are not able to actually make the right decision for them it's all because something they are suppressing some fear as well i do feel the situation is quite shady you do not know the full picture i do feel that some truth came out to light and even more is still in the darkness the next card that we have is ten of swords this is someone from your past 
from your recent past. As I said, someone made a choice to walk away from this connection and that caused you a heartbreak. We have Ten of Swords. But it's an end of a painful situation. And the connection is guided by the divine. It, it's needed to, to unfold. It's needed to happen this way. So you can make a decision yourself and move forward from it. Something is what was not right about this relationship. You felt stuck. You felt it's not growing. It was quite confusing for you. I do feel that you could not understand where you stand with this person. And um, it drained you a lot. It's like drained your life energy, even though it was not like toxic a relationship. I do feel that the state of uncertainty and confusion, it created an energy loss, constant energy loss. And you could not create, you could not produce, you could not function, um, you could not be your 100%, the full potential. So the universe stepped in to disconnect you guys, so you will regain your balance, regain your strength, so you will fill your cup yourself from the inside before giving anything to others you cannot give others if your cup is half empty or empty and i do feel that you were trying to give something to others but your cup was not full it was not overflowing to give and the universe decided to stop this leakage so you would be able to fill your own cup first before you will try to give it to others. And this actually pain, it accelerated your growth or it will accelerate your growth because now you have your full potential. Now you, you know that this connection is not meant to be and you can concentrate on moving forward with your life, on moving forward to uh, explore other options, other possibilities, um, other avenues. This confusion is not in your life anymore. So now you're quite certain, I feel, what to do next. Look, we have the strength clarified by the world card. Um, regaining the strength, becoming confident, in your life about your life about your path it's um helping you to open new cycle to begin a new cycle the world this situation that was not clear that was draining you and that was taking from you it's ended and now a new beginning is about to happen in your life that that is quite promising the world you are creating something and i do feel that you are in the public eye having the strength it's a leo energy we have here uh, you tamed your inner beasts you tamed your pride even though this is the sun, the card of leo it's the card of uh, of pride, of being prideful of your achievement, I do not sense it's um, it's something that has to do with the shadow side, with the dark side of pride. It's not arrogance. It's you being prideful of your achievement, of your strength to be able to walk away from something that is not giving to you what you deserve. The cycle is then that now you know what you want. Now you know what you deserve, and now you are crystal clear. Nothing will sway you from your path. And this is why the universe wants to give you something else, something new, something more excited. I do feel that for some of you guys are travel, travels, uh, for some of you guys travel is on the horizon as well. I, <clears throat> sorry, 
my throat chakra is blocked right now. I do feel this person wants to tell you something, wants to deliver a certain message, wants to clarify the situation that happened in the past, but something is stopping them from reaching out, from moving um, forward, from delivering this message to you. Well, some complication. It's not the divine timing, I feel. And I do sense that you will gain this clarity in the near future, having the judgment here. It's like in the wrong needs to be needs to become right, or justice needs to be given to you. Otherwise, the karma could be collected by that person that will affect their future in a really negative way, I do sense. So, page of wands we have clarified by high priestess. High priestess here, and it tells us that there are, uh, there is more to this situation. There is more to see. There is more to learn, and something is hidden. And for now, you are not meant to know everything. Again, moon, high priestess, lots of secrets, lots of information that you will receive i do you will receive in the future but not now now you need to concentrate on your growth page of wands it's being um being excited about your life being out there again being ambitious and, and happy and looking forward to new adventures to new opportunities it's all about having this creative spark and exploring it. It's being happy about life, about little things in life. Now I do sense that you have a clean slide and understanding this, you are quite happy. You have so many options and so many avenues that you can explore feels like, you know, it's a complete rebirth for you. Very exciting energy I sense here, guys. Follow your intuition. I do feel that you know more than you think you are. I do feel that your intuition is very strong right now. And many of those secrets that are in the dark um, is actually accessible to you. You can shed the light on many of those dark corners if you will want to, but I do feel that many of you just deciding to leave it behind. You are not really interested in um, that darkness anymore. It's just deciding to, to close this chapter and have a new, completely new life for yourself. The judgment, as I said, this is a divinely guided separation that occurred in your life because you have been giving away too much, not attending to your own needs. I do feel that you put this person's needs first, disregarding your own emotional state, disregarding your happiness, your interests you were building your life around this first person's schedule and i do feel that you have been dealing with something who is quite self-absorbed this person could not see your value could not appreciate you for who you are truly and um, well feels like for them the connection was not a priority and it was perceived like one of many and this is why they treated you um, as something that can be easily substituted. I do understand guys, it's really harsh to hear, but well, this is how I see and I'm trying to deliver the clearest message. Yes choice choice needed to be made but it it never happened you have been stagnant in this connection so transformation needed to take place and 
the spirit stepped in to free you from this to make you want to to desire more in a romantic relationship in life in general i do feel now you you have a completely different mentality than in the recent past now you choose you now you choose your happiness happiness is your priority now look five of pentacles some of you are still in this five of pentacles state which is uh, well this is not a really happy place to be uh, some of you tend to dwell in the past ruminating on happy moments and well thinking what you uh, might have have done better or something like this guys the universe reminds you that you need to pull yourself out of this um, emotional state do not forget your thoughts will create your reality you are powerful manifestors you have a mighty touch right now you can create your future and your reality so co-create with the divine the separation was done to to make you want more to make you desire your own happiness change the perspective i do feel that it was a blessing in the disguise for you because you do deserve love we have the lovers beneath the five of pentacles and it tells me that there is soulmate around the corner for you guys but now now you know your worth you put your needs and happiness first you're quite grounded we have king of pentacles i do feel it's your energy now you you have recreated your um, priorities i would say it's like you reshuffled your life and rearrange your priorities before you have been giving a lot to others now you prioritize your own happiness and you give to yourself first before others this is the temperance be patient be patient if you are still struggling if you are still experiencing this heartbreak because I do feel the clarity will come to you quite soon. We have two of swords in the reverse. This person who, who walked away from you, from this connection, is getting ready to deliver you some clarity, some truth. Two of swords is in the reverse. Before he, this person was blocked by fear, by uh, fear of... Um, unknown this is not someone who who will take risks this is someone who needs to have all the evidence to strategize their way forward and this situation made them understand that sometimes life cannot be predicted because we do not know all the variables we do not have all the information something is hidden from us sometimes sometimes it's uh, more uh, efficient to rely upon intuition to follow the heart to follow the soul's calling all right so you are balancing yourself i do see here and you are being very patient we have temperance in yang energy we have here so you are regaining your balance and because of this guys the universe wants to deliver you some gift let me see what exactly will happen wow king of wands we have here five of swords the justice in the reverse and the empress beautiful i do see here someone will enter your life 
with this knight of cups someone is quite interested in you i do feel that you have many options now as well i sense that the person from your past wants to slip back into your life to deliver you this justice we have five of swords and the justice so many things are needed to be clarified but i do sense this person does know how to connect how to make a smooth re-entrance for some of you guys you will be satisfied with an explanation with this information that would be given to you another portion of you will move away from the situation completely it would be up to you and this is a, a collective reading so it will not kind of resonate with everyone this is why i do sense many of you will move away from this situation to find your happiness to search your happiness elsewhere i do feel that another person will enter your life king of wands we have here i do sense someone is quite passionate about you um leo aries sagittarius energy we have here you are glowing you you became this empress you turned your pain into the power and that makes you so magnetic, so attractive. This is the highest um, ability of a divine feminine to transform energy, to transform negative into the positive, to give creation where there is death. This is you mastering your being you're glowing huge transformation huge lesson and it happened so fast the universe is is shocked even the spirit is shocked this is why you will have everything that you want really soon guys so let me know in the comments below how you resonate with this connection uh, with this situation with this message what happened between both of you guys seems like someone could see your words from the very beginning and now they miraculously um, acknowledge you as an empress they couldn't see that you have been empress from the very beginning very sad truth but sometimes people need to learn lessons right so let me know what do you think about this message, guys. Do consider to like, share, subscribe and push the bell button so we will be connected until the next time. All right, guys, I'm sending you lots of love. Bye. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to your reading if you chose Rose Quartz. But before I will start, I would like to express my gratitude to my subscribers. Thank you guys for your support, for your feedbacks, for your comments. It helps me a lot to grow my channel. As well, I would like to welcome you people. Guys, press the red button below the video and we will stay connected. All right, let me see who is thinking about you. My pile three is who is thinking about you right now. I do feel that you are quite passionate people. You're very creative. You have this creative spark within you. Uh, some of you are fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you have lots of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel that you are um, quite attracted to a certain person and they do find you attractive as well. I do sense that you have been single for some time and now this person sparked your interest and now you want to see where this connection will go i do sense that you are quite excited about the future prospects of this connection of this relationship the magician we have here so i sense age difference like maybe 7 10 15 years Take how it resonates with your specific situation but you are dealing with someone who is quite experienced in life and i do sense this is a, an established person they have their ducks in the row this is someone who is a very powerful manifesto whatever they have in mind they do not afraid to go after 
um, those ideas, after those dreams. It's not only the thinker like King of Swords, for example. Uh, this is someone who will do. This is um, an efficient person. I do have that. That I do sense that they have achieved a lot, and they are continuing to strive for more. All right, and we have six of wands as our next card. Leo energy we have here, maybe Aries Sagittarius. This is someone who is in the public eye. I do feel that you guys communicate through uh, social media a lot. Mm, I do feel that for some of you guys, this is a long distance relationship and you connect through internet. And this is why you feel that this person is distant or not, um, not reachable in a physical sense. Many people are inspired by this individual. Sometimes they could be a bit prideful, maybe even arrogant about their achievements. But I do sense that they have a quite um, balanced energy within them. So they kind of um, check themselves uh, fast enough to to be more, more realistic, I would say. Oops. So we have the moon here and we have nine of wands as the clarifier. I do feel that this connection um, triggers a lot of uh, your past traumas or some experiences that you had in the past affects this connection. I do feel that you tend to project your past experiences on to this person and the universe wants you to know that you need to stop fighting. I'll lower your weapon. We have nine, nine of wands here. Lower your weapons. It is safe for you to proceed. It is safe for you to be vulnerable. I do feel that you are quite anxious about the future of this connection, even though you are excited, but sometimes your worry pulls you down and you start to manifest bad outcome of, of this connection so you need to check yourself constantly so you will not through your thoughts manifest something negative all right so this is your mental made anxiety that has nothing to do with the reality at this this card is glorified by ace of cups and for me it's a promise from the divine, the promise of a new emotional beginning. This is a promise of love that can grow into Ten of Cups, that can grow into a happy union filled with joy, respect and compassion. As soon as you will manage to control your inner demons, such as fears, insecurities, so past relationship projections, uh, you will um, you will accelerate this relationship tremendously. It feels like you need to do some work, and this um, distance, this physical distance, actually helps you to to cover the ground to cover uh, to cover all that you need to fix within yourself because the future is quite promising i sense here so we have four of cups and six of swords as the clarifier i do feel that um, you are afraid to give away your cup of love you are afraid to become vulnerable or to, to be vulnerable with this person you do afraid to give in and then to be rejected. And we have six of swords as the clarifier and I do sense that you need to leave this um, mentality behind. It is not serving you. It is creating chaos, emotional chaos around you and within yourself. The divine calls um, for you to leave troubled waters and spirit wants you to to work on your inner peace 
I do sense that some of you perceive this person as emotionally unavailable and I don't see that it's true. I do feel that it's your projection. It's your fear that you are projecting onto them. I do feel that this person is quite fair and just with this justice card. As well, I sense that um, this is uh, your good karma, so to say. You collected good karma through your life, through working on yourself really hard, on elevating your spirit, your being to, to completely um, different levels. You leveled up a lot in the recent past and I sense it's the gift from the divine. It's the new door that is opening for you to reap the rewards for your hard work. But again, we have her here blindfolded. I do see that you are afraid to let in. You are afraid to give in to this connection. You are afraid to believe that this connection will have a happy outcome, that this connection will give you the happiness that you want in a union, in a romantic union. So, and it means that some work needs to be completed and some pause that you have with this person, it's actually meant for you to heal. We have three of wands, which is a physical distance. As well, I said, this is the um, work of the divine for you to have space and time to heal yourself before this um, connection can be accelerated. So let me see what else. I do feel that you will travel very soon or maybe this person will travel towards you. It's like, you know, um, the spark is there, Ace of Wands, right? the decision is made this person chose you and now we have three of wands which is waiting waiting for this connection to flourish waiting for this connection to become grounded to put a label on it because the next one is the four of wands which is a um, stable union which is marriage for some of you actually celebration reunion reconciliation it depends it depends on your what did i say ace of wands we have here this is a new spark that you have in your life um this is the force of the divine that ignites you from the within to trust to to dream bigger to want more lots of passion i sense here guys you are so passionate about each other you you pull each other in your magnetic fields are so drawn towards each other. It feels like no matter how distant you are, you are always in each other, in, in each other energetic field. You are connected strongly and nothing can actually break this connection. I do feel that you could be dealing with your soulmate. Seven of Wands. You see, in the reverse we have here, it is safe for you to open up, it is safe for you to love, it is safe for you to, to give in the new beginning. So I do feel that you might have a false start, uh, you had some confusion in the very beginning, some fears, anxieties, past relationships, experiences block this relationship from growing from accepting this cup of love and now i do feel that you will have um a new beginning with this person with the say so once new passionate beginning it's a new start it's like the first one was false and now you will have the right one all right what's next what uh, this person wants you to know death in the reverse it's not an end guys some of you are in separation and the spirit wants you to know it's not an end it's some pause before an acceleration before 
before exploring this connection deeply, transformation is needed on both sides. Some healing needs to be done. So address it because I do sense it's your soulmate and you kind of mirroring each other. And if you will start or accelerate your healing, this person will do the same. I do feel that um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you might have lots of Scorpio on your chart. So what else do they want you to tell? Well, look, we have Ten of Swords and we have Two of Pentacles. I do feel that in the past they made the wrong decision and it caused heartbreak or separation. We have Ten of Swords in the reverse, but I sense this pain is in the past. And now, look, we have another Ace on the bottom, Ace of Pentacles. We have new beginning, not only with passion, we have new beginning that would be manifested in a very tangible way. So I do feel that they will be back and they will show you that they want to invest into this connection through something tangible. We have Four of Swords as our next card and it tells me that they do not want to let you go. They hold on to you, to this connection as well. I do feel that you don't want them to let go of you <laughs> and you don't want to let go of them yes so i do feel that decision would be made in the near future and if it's not a separation i sense that this person um, particularly um I, I do sense that this person almost healed something that was stopping them from accelerating this relationship because Ten of Swords is in the reverse. All right, what's next for you in this connection? Oh wow, we see this. We have Six of Pentacles and we have an Empress, which is you, your energy. I do sense that you are glowing. I do sense that this person sees your value and they made a choice to be with you. Uh, this is the highest card, I would say. Um, you have it all. Queen of Swords, Queen of, which is intellect, Queen of Wands, which is passion, um, Queen of Cups, which is emotional connection with them as well, Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, which is, um, the vision of um, having family with you having children even i do sense guys that you are dealing with your soulmate with your future spouse here the balance would be restored we have six of pentacles and whatever you gave into this connection would be uh, given to you as well equality i do feel that they see you as their equal as their partner and they will respect you and treat you this way right for some of you, it will take some time. It will not start with a bang, but I do sense that they are ready to put work in and they are ready to show you that they are serious, committed, that they made a decision and um, that they are cleared themselves from any confusion, from any anything that was dragging them. Again, we have six of wands again i got this card again guys this is a success a victory this situation will be victorious it's it's promised by the divine for you congratulations guys you will achieve success okay we have the lovers and we have queen of swords they're very passionate about you. We have the Gemini card here and we have Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, right? So I do feel, guys, this is um, your near future. The clarity that you needed about this person's intentions and passionate reunion or passionate date or passionate um, introduction themselves to you in a bit different light 
I do feel that you have some pulls right now with this Four of Swords for you to heal and for them to heal. And I do sense that you guys will need to communicate clearly next time you will see this person to address all the issues that you had in the past or if you have any. Be clear of what you want. And on your own, you're supposed to gain clarity. Some of you haven't decided yet what you actually want with this person. If you want them back, or if you want to be serious about them. All right, what else? What do they want to tell you that you are their wish fulfillment? We have nine of cups. I do feel that you guys will celebrate something really soon. It will involve drinks and alcohol. I do feel that um, you might meet this person or you met this person while you were having fun or something as well i do sense that this person might have lots of uh, water in his chart pisces cancer scorpio we have wheel of fortune this is a divinely guided situation and i do feel that the divine timing is now uh, the divine timing of uh, getting this union into action bringing it down from the 5d to 3d it's now congratulations the sun next oh next card is the sun okay and eight of pentacles yes they, they decided to put work into this connection so they, they made a choice congratulations guys it's very promising the sun this leo season will um, give you many positive big great changes that promise you lots of happiness and joy this is a very potent energy for some of you guys having this empress in our reading um, some of you guys uh, if you have been thinking about conceiving you will become pregnant if it's not the case i do feel that you will have some success um, with your creation with your work all right what's next let me ask what's their deepest desire the tower they want to change something <laughs> they want to destroy um, the past dynamic and they want to rebuild um, this connection from the very beginning like you know as i said you guys had a false start and they want to change the dynamic they want to change everything as well they want you to be crystal clear about your intentions and about the future that you want all right so big changes are coming into your life big happy changes guys i'm so happy for you i wish you all the best this is the message that i received let me know in the comments below what happened why you guys got separated or why you are stagnating with this connection you know you all will have different stories it's collective let's connect through sharing our stories down there in the comment section guys please consider to like share subscribe and push the bell button so we will be connected until the next time i'm sending you lots of love bye